let's look at some more force work problems. Energy can be changed from one form to another. You can change work into kinetic energy, change that kinetic energy back into work. So let's take a look at a problem that does some of these changes. I take a baseball and I apply a force of 40 newtons to it. So I grab it with my hand, I'm going to throw it with 40 newtons over a distance of 50 centimeters. We know that work is force times distance. The ball is at rest, force times distance, I'm putting work into it, it's going to move. So how much work did I do? The work is force times distance, it's 40 times, now remember your distance must be in meters, so 0 0.5 meters, 20 joules. I did 20 joules worth of work to that ball. How does the ball show that work? It's now moving, it has kinetic energy. So my work became kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy of the ball is 20 joules. It's moving with 20 joules of kinetic energy. It can do work. It will hit someone in the head and it'll do force times distance some work on them. Let's say it hits the person in the head and their head moves a distance of eight centimeters. That means it's going to, your head is going to have to apply a force to stop it from moving. So that 20 joules is going to get turned into work. So work is force times distance. So the work, I got to get rid of 20 joules of kinetic energy. I did 20 joules of work, got 20 joules of kinetic energy. Got to get rid of that 20 joules of kinetic energy, so I got to do work. And it's the force times the distance, which is 0 0.08. So the force applied is 250 newtons. That's how much force it's going to take to stop this thing. What if instead you stood there and the ball hit you in the head, but you didn't move as much? How much force would then be on? Let's say your head only moved a distance of 2 centimeters. So you hit the head, only moved a little bit 2 centimeters. How much force did you get hit with? Well, work is force times distance. I gotta get rid of 20 joules of energy. And my head moved a distance of two centimeters, which in meters is 0 0.02. The force works out to be 1,000 newtons. That makes sense. It takes more force to stop it in a very short distance than it takes with a long distance. This is how it works in an automobile. You're driving your car and your car has thousands of joules of kinetic energy. When you stop, the car crumples. If the car crumples a little bit, then uh, the force on the car is really great. If the car crumples a lot, which it's designed to do, then the force is spread over a larger distance, then the force would be less. So this is converting work to kinetic energy back into work.